Hello everybody and thank you for joining me again. Um, previously I was demonstrating how you can play games inside the Shadow Cloud Gaming service using a virtual here, USB over AP server on the tech side and client on the shadow side. And <clears throat> I was demonstrating Apex Legends and the World of Warcraft. Back then uh, I received lots of suggestions to enable mouse trail and all of the things to to improve the gaming experience since then shadow and un shadow android app for you to connect to shadow cloud gaming service from your android os has been updated numerous times and mouse inputs for sh for gaming on shadow improved quite a lot i already recorded the video showing you with the updated version of shadow android app and playing apex legends if i remember correctly i wasn't really doing that great inside the game but anyway if you want to check that out i will leave the link to that video in the description below and if i will remember i will enable the card should it be up, up, up can't even speak should pop up any minute now am i done correctly i don't know well i probably forgot about it and it's probably all laughing right so this is the video update let's say update 2.0 of me trying to basically world of warcraft inside the shadow cloud gaming service with a new shadow client android app on my deck station <clears throat> excuse me so let's open shadow uh, client uh, straight away uh, i probably already mentioned the layout and ui changed of this app so i'm gonna just click start and connect okay so this thing please note i don't have a mouse trail which is good and bad why is good a mouse is more responsive when there is no mouse trail so if we're gonna go straight into world of warcraft and i'll demonstrate the gameplay and mouse input without the mouse mouse pointer trail is more responsive but for some reason world of warcraft uh, not war well it's working better than it was before but not great so basically uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate for you so my character is loading up so let's quickly <coughs> excuse me so let's quickly click quickly can't even speak today i'm sorry apologize okay so i'm in so straight away everything's moved for some reason my my oops <laughs> right here you go uh first thing as you can see the shading changes i hope the camera can pick up is is it just adds this grayish overlay and now look with the mouse i clicked once and it sort of worked at the start but now every time when i click i'm not sure i'm by the way clicking the right mouse button to move the camera around the camera movement as you can see it works works fine and as i mentioned in the previous video the looting and all this stuff works fine but the small uh, camera movements not that great because every time i click right mouse button i don't know where the camera will end up and i say i'm in the middle of battle i'm literally last man standing and i were instantly like <clears throat> what's this so uh not that again uh and with the left mouse button pretty much the same thing first click you don't know where you're gonna end up end up end up basically end up uh i'm trying to demonstrate and saying end up so many times anyway that's this is without the mouse trail so let's exit the game exit now so right now i am back into the uh my shadow and i have the settings already open for mouse and if i go additional mouse options and enable trail so right now let's long one is basically no need to have this it's always to just minimize the short one i have a speed increased a bit more increased just to make the mouse a bit more responsive because by default was in the middle and was very sluggish so now this is the android mouse as you can see is stuck on the screen and the big one is actual mouse inside the cloud gaming service so let's start world of warcraft with the mouse pointer or mouse pointer trail enabled straight away as you can see i have not just an ordinary mouse as this one I have a proper World of Warcraft, the glove mouse, if that even makes sense. Oh my god, I'm talking so rubbish today. Anyway, let's be on track. Come on, Mr. P, go back on track. Right, I'm inside the game. And now, my camera movements, 
brilliant it's literally like it's supposed to be without any problems it's just this mouse thing here it's annoying me like hell because it's always there now uh, depending on hours you're gonna spend playing this game I don't think that there is gonna be a pixel burn with this mouse basically being constantly static in that location might be a damage to your screen might be not I do not know my monitor is literally a very cheap 1080p PC monitor which is if it's gonna have a one or two pixel being burned uh, I'm not gonna cry for that uh, it's not like gonna be end of the world it's just one of the things you need to uh, well, you need to know before you're gonna do, do this but I would like to say that it is it is changed since since the, my last video where I was trying for the Warcraft and obviously with your help I found out about mouse trail and all this stuff but uh, like I said since then shadow gaming app for Android been changed a couple of times and now I have like a proper mouse input without any problem I can go and play World of Warcraft on my deck station I mean what what else do you want me to say to prove to you that the DAX is the future? I mean, how else? Look at my videos. Uh, it's so many things you can do in DAX station. It's unbelievable. Again, I'm, I'm drifting away. Anyway, back to World of Warcraft. So, with the new version of Shadow, you the problems still still there like this android mouse is is just annoying me always on the screen uh some some the mouse point trail can be a bit of pain to have that on but besides that uh it's better than was before but not great i think it still requires a bit small tweaking to get it done but we we are getting there we are getting there and shadow developers brilliant job brilliant job Again, there's another proof that cloud gaming is a future and deck station is a future. I'm just trying to kill this monster. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I might do a bit of gaming right now while I'm inside there, inside the World of Warcraft. <clears throat> and I'll see you in the next video where I'm testing Android apps and games and basically demonstrating what Android OS, not just deck station, but Android OS in general is capable of doing. I am. Um, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or requests or questions don't forget by the way i'm blabbing this inside every video we have a subreddit group by the name of samsung dex obviously and there's a lot of people we just recently crossed 500 users and there is an active community asking questions sharing experience sharing news and basically we are talking to each other and trying to find out the best way to use DexStation and sharing the the issues we have. We're always there to help you. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye bye.